Good morning, love bugs. It is 8.06 a.m. on Monday morning. My face is a little crusty. Elephant in the room. Anyway, <laughs> I'm excited for this week um, because I want to get a lot done and I also think it's going to be a busy week. But right now I am just at my desk doing a bunch of computer worky stuff. I'm doing some video stuff. I'm doing some secret businessy stuff. I do have Pilates every morning this week, so we will be doing that as per usual. I'm actually pretty sure that my dog walking schedule is different this week because I'm pretty sure Kira's owner is going out of town because I'm watching her cat this weekend. Yes, so I'm walking Kira today, tomorrow, and I think that's it. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of like work and craft stuff this week, pretty similar to last week. That's really just been my jam. I finally got back to recording the podcast last week. I have an episode recorded that I need to edit so I can post it. I'm very excited about that and I need to and want to. I need to stop saying need. I want to record a podcast this week as well. Anyway, this week's gonna be cool. Got some work stuff. I'm doing some cat sitting. I'm doing some crafting. And also, this Saturday is 420. Anyway, I am kind of procrastinating all the work I have on my screen right now, but I'm gonna do that and then go to Pilates and I will check in with you at some point. We are going to Pilates and I'm a little worried I'm gonna be late even though that makes no sense because it's like a 15 20 minute drive and I'm leaving the house 35 minutes early but I think I'm gonna be late because I didn't leave even earlier so that's funny I'm gonna go <laughs> Okay, hello and welcome to my Pilates review and breakdown. I am starting off doing my, damn, doing my stretches as per usual. I have a shorts that shows my stretches in a little bit more detail, uh, but we start class off doing abs. We're starting with a plank to bear at the back of the mega former. So the bear part is that part right there where we bent our legs at a 90 degree to where our knees are under our hips. And this works the center and upper ab, as does this exercise. This is called wheelbarrow. So our entire body is still, except for the arms, which are like moving as one, kind of like at the shoulder, not kind of, at the shoulder. <laughs> um, and it's hard, as you can see, I'm struggling a little bit there. We finish off here with this pretty typical crunch, but it's a little harder than your regular crunch because our feet are tucked into the strap on the reformer, which makes the weight of the reformer move in, like once you move the crunch in. And then we go to our legs. So this is an escalator lunge on the right side. So we are keeping the right leg at that 90 degree angle and we're pressing down through our heel to get deep into the glute. And we basically do the same thing in our leg press. We kick kick forward, bent at a 90 degree. Uh, this is a variation. I don't know the name of it. It's kind of like the clamshell move that we do next. This gets really deep into the side glutes. Also, if you hear background noise, it's my cats. Um, oh, they're being uh, wild right now. Anyway, this is clamshell. It's similar, it targets the same thing, but it's a little harder because that lower leg is lifted, so you have less support, so you activate your abs more in addition to your glutes having less stabilization. I don't know what this thing is called, but it's evil and it could die for all I care. It's really hard because the carriage has a lot of weight on it, so you're pushing against it with that leg that's bending in and out, but you're supposed to keep your body in like a deep, squat without holding on to the carriage, like the handles for support. It's a brutal one, as is this. This looks like it is an inner thigh workout, um, but it's actually not because there's a lot of weight on the carriage still. So with that leg that's like on the carriage, you're pushing against the weight to move the carriage outward and it gets into the side glutes pretty heavy. 
And this is just rude and unnecessary. Basically, we have to hold the weight out and then hinge in a deadlift-esque type move to get deeper into the glutes. And then we get a little bit more into the obliques with this plank to pike with the one leg. So one leg is crossed over, like the ankles are crossed. And this gets deeper into that oblique, which is the like side ab muscle. Um, and a pike is basically like doing a crunch in the air because is you lift your hips up and you like crunch your upper body to meet your lower body. And then this is also working the obliques because it's also twisted onto that side. So we have our legs stacked on top of one another to twist the lower body while keeping the upper body straight. And we are doing a saw, which is the same as the wheelbarrow, but our forearms are down instead of our arms being straight. This one is either egg beater or scrambled egg. It's a little, it's, it's tough. It works the ham and glute. It's especially tough when you lift your arm, the opposite arm off of the carriage because you lose that support and it makes you activate your abs more. Now we are doing some quick little arm. These are lat pull downs. They are obviously one arm lat pull downs. I've been trying to grow my freaking arm muscles because I feel like my arms are so scrawny in comparison to the rest of my body and I don't really like that. Um, and I also just do want my arms to be more muscular. And then we switch to that other side before going back and doing all of those like oblique and leg exercises that we did before, but we do them in the reverse order than which we started. And then we finish off with this pose, which is also evil. This is reverse tailbone angel. So it works really the entire upper half of your body. It's like a chest opener. It works arms. And then once we get into that final pose with the feet off of the carriage and your entire body weight is just trying to balance on your tailbone, it gets deep into those abs too. Um, so yeah, this is a, a, a wild one. And for some reason I had to do that one a lot the week I recorded this vlog. There were like two or three classes where it ended with a fucking reverse tailbone angel. And now I'm done. War is over. War is over. Guys. Okay. So update. It is obviously past Pilates. It is 11, 19. Um, I am back home, took Cass out, had a cup of coffee, I'm back doing some work stuff that I will tell you about because I at first wasn't going to tell you this, but I am, okay? Guys, it is the last possible day to do my taxes, and I did them, which you might be like, Grayson, what? Maybe let's not, let's not clap for doing something at the last minute. However, this is actually an accomplishment for me because for the past two years, Instead of filing my taxes on this day, I have filed for a tax extension and just put off doing my taxes until October, but I did it today. Uh, I'm kind of scared that I did it wrong because this is the first time I didn't use TurboTax because fuck TurboTax, but I've never used this like free website to do my taxes and taxes are, listen, am I a little dumb? Yes. And that's okay <laughs> because I'm just being real. Like taxes are kind of confusing and scary. Anyway, I did them. I'm going back and forth between my computer and doing some craft stuff at my desk. So, um, I will just show you guys whatever it is, whatever the cool things I do today. <laughs> I'll show you. Good morning, love bugs. It is Tuesday. It is 7.47 a.m. My face skin, I don't know if you'll be able to tell in this lighting, it's not getting better. I think it's actually getting worse. So I'm actually going to the doctor tomorrow to look at it. Cause it's like, it's spreading on my neck now. But yeah, so I had a stress cry about that because I've gotten much better at being an adult you know, the longer I've been an adult, right? I did my taxes yesterday without crying or ripping out any of my hair. 
But I did cry at the thought of having to take myself to the doctor and talk to a doctor. So me and Lexi compromised to where she's gonna meet me at an urgent care tomorrow during her lunch and like break because they're back to back so she has like a long break. So she's gonna go with me at the start to hold my hand through it until she has to leave. So that'll be a fun thing we do tomorrow and a fun thing I have to do all day until then, until tomorrow, is not scratch at my face, which is really itchy and dry. It's really itchy. <laughs> Plan for today, I do not have work today. I do have um, Pilates at 9.45. I'm walking Kira at 1.30, and those are my only like commitments today. I need to do some emails and do some video editing. That'll be my main focus today. We shall see what direction the wind blows today. And that is all. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. I don't even know how the fuck I did that. I accidentally deleted the entire fucking, the original clips uh, for the vlog I've been editing. I just, I, not just, I don't know when this happened. I don't know how this happened. So I don't have a vlog, um, like all of it's gone. <laughs> I have another vlog to edit from last week. Um, but the one that I have been working on and I and I thought was like actually good a really a pretty good vlog um, Is it's gone I can't say that it's just gone Because I know that doesn't to my knowledge just happen I know I somehow accidentally deleted it when I I must have not been paying attention when I was switching my SD cards or you know getting stuff ready for this week's vlog, I don't know. I fucked up somehow, um, which sucks. I can't believe I did that. Um, and also my freaking SD card reader sucks dick balls. And so I can't even, it's like I have to fidget with it for it to actually read my SD cards. I did already buy another one. It's coming tomorrow. Thankfully, I actually have vlog clips saved on, I don't know if you can see on that screen. This is last week's vlog, which is of the solar eclipse. So I, I'm just gonna start editing this and I'm just gonna have to take the L on this whole project. I have to sit in silence. Fit check, fit check, fit check, what? Oh my god, look at my fit, guys. The fit of a t-shirt and leggings. Fun fact, I got these leggings on Mercari because, fun fact, aloe and lululemon, great quality, right? But I think we we can all agree that they, I listen, paying $100 for leggings is fucking whack crazy ridiculous. And I don't do it. I, have I? I won't admit to anything on camera, but do I currently? No, I'm not an idiot. What I do is I go to Mercari, Depop, and um, if you, I don't know if this is a chain, but there's a place in Austin. Ooh, do I want to gatekeep? No, I won't. Okay, so there's this place. <laughs> there's this place called Flamingo Vintage by the Pound. It is on the drag in Austin, um, and basically, it's like a thrifty place, but it's organized by like weight. So it'll be like vintage t-shirts, $12.99 a pound or whatever it is. So stuff, my phone alarm's going off. I don't know where my phone is. So stuff like leggings, which is a very light material, costs a lot less. Um, anyway, long fucking story short, I got these leggings, they're aloe leggings, they're great. I got them on Mercari. I didn't realize when I got them that they're kind of like three quarter length, which I do personally despise, but I wear long, I wear like crew socks, so it's fine. I, anyway, this is the fit. 
And now we're going. Also quickly before I go, because I am realizing now, this is the second vlog that I, where I've accidentally deleted, I've accidentally deleted two vlogs now, sorry, where I have said something. And so I'm saying it again in a vlog that I hopefully, oh my God, don't accidentally delete. Anyway, I've wanted to say this in case people have gotten curious. If you've noticed, Honey hasn't been, Honey, Lexi's cat, hasn't been in the vlogs recently. She is okay. We still have her. She's just at Lexi's mom's house right now. Honey doesn't do all that great with travel, but we took all of the pets with us last time we visited Lexi's mom because it was just the best option for like, you know, boarding versus like pet sitting and Lexi has pretty extreme pet anxiety. So we took all the pets with us and Honey did really bad on this trip. She got really sick and distressed and we were concerned, obviously, especially because we had more travel plans after this. So since Honey had already been to Lexi's mom's house and knows the family, the cats, the home, and obviously Lexi's mom and siblings, well, Lexi's siblings, not Lexi's mom's siblings, Lexi's mom and Lexi's siblings, um, love Honey, of course, so she is watching Honey until we're able to go back and get her. It's just been kind of difficult because we all work, and if you don't know, Lexi's mom lives nine hour a nine-hour car ride away, so it's not the easiest to just run and grab her, but she's okay. We get picture updates of her all the time, cuddling with the different cats and other animals they have, like bunnies and stuff. Um, she is doing good. She's just not in the apartment right now. We do love her and we do miss her. I just wanted to let you guys know that in case anyone was curious. I know that she wasn't the most present in the vlogs anyway because she just kind of does her own thing, but just so you know, honey's good. She's just at her grandma's right now. Should I just go back to editing? Yes, but I might have had you know, a, a, a yummy little bowl of herb to edit. And then I got up to go pee. And then when I was walking back to the desk, I walked past this on the counter, which is a, um, it's like a, it's like a go-gurt for cats. It's like meat saute. He's already excited. They freak the actual fuck out over these things. Um, so do you guys want to watch them eat one? This is chicken and salmon flavored. Ew. Yeah. Hey, share with your brother. left a candle on. Update, it is a few minutes before 10 a.m. I did work, went home, took an everything shower, and now I'm waiting outside the urgent care for Lexi to get here in a few minutes so we can fix my face. It doesn't look too, too terrible because I just washed it and moisturized it, but you can definitely still tell, especially on my neck. You guys want to know something funny? I literally made up <laughs> the fact that I updated you guys already, and then I double-checked because I was like, wait, I'm actually not too sure. I don't remember that happening, but I do remember happening. I remember recording that, but then I double checked and I didn't record that. I made it up in my head. Anyway, it is several hours later after the appointment. The doctor was like, yeah, I don't know. That's weird because it's not eczema, but um, it doesn't really look, you know, like ringworm or any fungal thing. I don't know, really. Um, we're gonna give you something and see if it works and also tell you to keep taking the meds that stopped working. The cream I've been using, they said to keep, to start using that again, um, along with an oral antifungal, 
we're gonna see if that works and if not we're gonna keep trying or I'm gonna have to go to like an actual dermatologist anyway that's all I have to say I'm going to a meeting hello my beautiful people it is some time later I have my cat sitting at four I'm done with my podcast work and I was doing some craft stuff and now I want to do some cleaning stuff because I kind of made this room messy and I also want to work on this room because I don't think you guys have actually even fully seen this room. It's um, a work in progress, but we, this is, was the bedroom. This was our bedroom and now that's the bedroom. This room now basically is a craft workspace and big extended closet because we have a lot of clothes. So there's the closet and then we have, I mean, there's, it's messy in here. And then there's the cat corner. They have their tree, the litter, and they're both on the cat beds right now. So I want to make some progress on this room. And I want to figure something out because recently I got something for the walls. I have a bunch of panels of fake grass, like fake shrubbery for like a, a leafy wall. I'm thinking of where these are gonna go. I'm deciding between that wall or there's this wall. So it would kind of be like a maximalist thing. I would move the lesbian flag. I think it would, I don't know though. I don't know if that clashes with the dresser in the right way or the wrong way. I don't know. <sighs> Guys, me making a decision um, it's probably easier to, for me to do like calculus. I'm gonna play around with this. I'm gonna do some planning and I will keep you updated. And I know that I'm out of focus and I am trying to get focused and now I'm focused and now I'm leaving and look at Nobu back there <laughs> and his little arm. We outside, I'm painting these. Guys, if I look a little chaotic, it's because I fell asleep in my makeup last night and also I've just been picking at this gigantic pimple at my face, the one from the last vlog. Anyway, me painting those shelves turned into like an over three hour long cleaning and reorganizing session. So let me show you everything I did. So I did, I'm not gonna show you the outside of my window because I don't want you to see the outside of my apartment view, but I painted the shelves white. I did a total reorganize. The kitchen is a mess right now because I didn't clean any of the kitchen. I'm doing that in the next vlog. I wish I had a before for you guys to see like just how drastic this change is, but I cleaned and reorganized our entire pantry and it looks so much better than before. Like literally that shelf with the blender and the potatoes on it, it was full of like other shit. Up here was full of a bunch of junk, like no food stuff could fit on it. I totally reorganized it. It was awesome. And finally, it is not gonna look like I cleaned in here. I think it's gonna actually maybe look messier than when you last saw it, but I made more progress to the craft room and we're getting closer to a final product. So I finished the, um, I don't know what to call this. My brain keeps trying to call it vines, but they're not vines. They're almost like clovery. The shrub wall. I finished the shrub wall. I'm not obsessed with how I had to like end it here, but I ran out of the leaves, so I had to make it work. And then I ended up re- organizing the couch fell over because it got fucked up when I moved it. I'll have to fix that. I ended up reorganizing the layout of the room, except for this wall. The dresser has been there and it's staying there, I think. So I put up that sheer curtain, which used to just be a bed sheet that I had hung up uh, with push pins. <laughs> this shelf thing used to be on this wall. That used to be in that corner and that used to be over here, and this used to be here, and this used to not be here. I put my two market tables together so I could have like some sort of workstation when I'm in here. So, I mean, this room is still not done, 
Obviously, it's not done. There's still a bunch of shit we have to do, but that is the progress I made and that's the end of this vlog. Thank you for watching this vlog. No boo. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that, um, kind of, oh, hi. No finished product to show, really, but the next vlog, I am hoping to have a lot more accomplished. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like and maybe comment if you want to. Comment your um, favorite color and follow me if you want to. And I'm gonna go because I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder and thinking I look weird. And I think it is just because I just woke up and I fell asleep in my makeup, but I am getting a little self-conscious. So I'm gonna go, bye. <laughs>